Hi, and welcome to MC Forcey TV. I'm Judith, the Youth Enterprise Champion, and I'm with James Danville of Room 73. And James has recently taken on the role of a Youth Enterprise Ambassador. So thanks so much for joining us, James. Tell us about your business. How is it going? Obviously, I'm a producer, um, an artist as well, and, and an engineer. So like, I'm running a music studio called Room 73. Um, under like lockdown, which is a collective I am with, with like two uh, like a DJ and a rapper called Shadow. And um, basically, at the minute, I've just been like recording people, like mixing down the music, mastering the music, um, and I've been getting quite a lot of custom, especially from like um, the a lot of the younger people. I'd say the age range is from like seventeen to thirty. To be fair, that's that's like a lot of the client base I've been getting. Um, it's majority rap music. Um, it's it's rare that I get someone who doesn't do rap music that comes to me. But I think that's because, like, as a collective, like, we've built, like, a little name in the area for, like, rap music, do you know? So I think that's why I get, like, a lot of the young rappers coming to me. Um, yeah, I produce music. I produce music for myself and Chedo as well. And I also, like, rap myself. Um, so when I'm not recording people and and earning a living that way I'm, I'm working on my own stuff or chedo stuff so there's always something to be doing you know have you always wanted to be in the creative industry or in the music industry as you're in i used to mess around like writing like lyrics when i was younger like when i was like 13 14 and stuff like that um i can't imagine what those like now to be honest i can't really remember them and i think that's a good thing um, but then like when i started like when i was about 15 i wanted to start djing um, so I got like some decks and um, I started getting into like vinyl records and stuff like that. And I used to just like DJ a lot, but I still wanted to make like, it kind of like want enough for me. I, I wanted to like make my own music. You know, if I listen to stuff, I was like, I want to actually make a song like that. Like DJing was good in that. I was having fun with it. I, was, I wasn't DJing in clubs or out. I was like literally DJing in my bedroom and just enjoying it. But my aim was to be a DJ in the clubs. That's what I wanted to do at that time. But then when, once I started getting into like um, producing music and writing lyrics, like I just kind of like pushed the DJ into a side. And then that's when I started getting into like making my own beats and stuff like that. Because on like, I don't know whether you know, but on vinyl records, you used to get like the actual tune. And then on, on the B side, you'd get like maybe a remix, but then you'd get the instrumental. And I used to always put the instrumental on and plug a microphone in and like try doing my own version. But like it was never, it was never good enough for me because I always like wanted to like make my own beat. You know what I mean? What do you enjoy the most about being your own boss? You're doing something for yourself. Like it just feels better in the morning waking up and knowing that you're kind of doing something that you that you enjoy, um, and and you're getting paid for it, and you're not working for another man and like earning them a lot of money while you're going home with like minimum wage or whatever like that, like. I just feel like when I when I've worked for like big companies and stuff, and you you're doing all this hard work for like like little money just for someone else to be rich. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, we've all got to do them. Like, we've all got to do these little jobs and things. But basically, you wanna you wanna just earn money for yourself, don't you? And your you, your own money, your own cash. I think that's the beauty of being your own boss. You you, you as much as you choose when to work, you you're passionate about what you're doing, and so. You put in the effort because nobody else is gonna, you know, do it, the work for you. You're you're relying on yourself to get things done, but there is that element of flexibility, which is great. And you know, you you are your own boss, <laughs> which is great. You're not having to answer to anybody. That's that's really good. Um, what are some of the challenges you faced as a business, especially during the pandemic and even prior to the pandemic? Any challenges you face as a business? I'd say like one of the main things is obviously like you're not you're not guaranteed a weekly income, you know. So like, say if you're just working like a job, you're guaranteed like money at the end of the month or the end of every week, and you're guaranteed a set wage. Um, so you've kind of just got like you've got to be a bit savvy and a bit clever with your money, I think. So like, you got to put money aside and you got to make sure you're going to be good for like next week or next month, but. It's not hard once you get get your head around it, you know. Like I find it quite easy. I'm not I'm not too bad with money. 
So you've recently taken on the role of a youth enterprise ambassador. Why yeah. did you want to do or take on this role? I'll be honest, like my main reason why why I did it is because I felt like I got a lot of help from MC4C, you know, like like just when we was doing the Zoom calls and stuff. And I, I felt like I always had someone to, when I was like starting the business, I felt like I always had someone to go to, you know, when I needed to find out something, whether it be like invoicing or taxes or anything like that. And then obviously there was stuff like helping me like get grants and things like that. And I, I felt, I thought like they've helped me out a lot. I feel like I need to give something back. Do you know what I mean? That was like my, my main reason I thought I'd do it. Brilliant. But, and also young people get to see the help you've gotten and hopefully that will inspire them to also, you know, reach out for, to get this similar help. No, definitely. Um, what do you hope to achieve from this new role then? Let like the younger people know that you don't always have to like dread going to work every day and working for someone or doing something you don't want to do for money. Like there's plenty of opportunity out there. You've just got to kind of look for it yourself, you know, and then um, find what you want to do. Um, and th there's always money to be made in something that you enjoy. Just following on from that, um, how do you think you can help uh, MC4C in terms of like promotion and like getting the message out there? How do you think you could do that? Yeah, just spread the word. You know? <laughs> I'm not, like just like just tell every like I've told a few people like um, just people who I know like oh these these have helped me out um, they've helped me do this and that like or even anything like anything that. I do, I can just like share on social media and tag or, you know, I think Graham to ask me things about like um, going into places and like doing like a few talks and stuff, which I'm up for doing as well. You've touched on it a little bit earlier. How did NC4C support you? There was group meetings with other people who wanted to start businesses and stuff. And it just, it created like um, a dialogue. People just started speaking to each other, like what they want to do and, was just getting taught about all sort taught about all sorts sorry um anything like i say from like invoicing doing taxes how to keep a positive mental attitude when you when you try and start a business or anything like that you know it was just quite helpful and it was quite good just talking to other like-minded people do you have any recommendations on how we can best reach out to other young people to encourage them to consider self-employment I just feel like social media and stuff like that. Um, all, all like young people just all over social media now, aren't they? So whether it be like TikTok or Instagram or something like that, I think that's the best way you're going to get to them because they don't, they don't leave the phones these days. No, that's true. So definitely, like you mentioned earlier, that like you guys, you ambassadors to post and tag, and we will also like post and tag you guys, and hopefully more people will be able to, you know, in your connections, be able to see um, that who we are as MC4C and what how we can help them as well, potentially. So why would you recommend MC4C to a friend or other young um, I'll just say, because it just gives you good guidance, like if you want to start, um, if you want to start a business, like, because I, I feel like it can be quite daunting, you know, doing it on your, on your own. So like... Yeah, I, I just feel like th there's just a lot of help there if you need it, you know. As a, as a busy young entrepreneur, um, you've also taken on this new role as a youth enterprise ambassador. And I look forward to seeing all the good things that you'll get up to in this new role. And I wish you all the best with everything. Oh, no worries. You too.